expert Sudoku strategy, XY Wing, explained. On the left is a symbolic illustration of an XY Wing, consisting of three bivalue cells, involving three candidates, A, B, and C. A bivalue cell is a cell that contains exactly two candidates. One of the three bivalue cells, called pivot, is framed in green, and contains candidates A and B. It can see the other two cells called pincers. One pincer, framed in blue, contains candidates A and C. The other, framed in red, contains candidates B and C. The two pincers do not see each other, but they share the third candidate C. The pivot can only be A or B. If it is A, the blue framed pincer cannot be A, so it must be C. If the pivot is B, the red framed pincer cannot be B, so it must be C. Either case, C is true for one of the pincers. Therefore, all cells highlighted in pink that can see both pincers cannot contain C. An XY wing can also be looked at as a short XY chain. The chain starts from the candidate C in the blue framed cell and ends at the candidate C in the red framed cell. The rule of elimination is that any cells such as the pink cells cannot contain C because they see both ends of the chain. For details on XY chains, please consult my video on XY chains. In this example, the three candidates are 3, 6, and 8. The pivot, framed in green, contains 6 and 8. One pincer, framed in red, contains 3 and 8, and the other pincer, framed in blue, contains 3 and 6. Then the two pink cells, that see both pincers cannot contain 3. As a result, a naked single 5 appears in one of the pink cells, and the blue framed pincer becomes a hidden single 3. From here on, placing singles in their cells leads to appearance of more singles all the way to the final solution. This is the final solution. Thanks for watching.